And the concert there has caused quite the controversy. From the moment she landed to the moment she hit the stage, there has been fallout from fans and the media. Earlier today, I sat down with Brittany, and now she clears the air about what really happened. Say hello to the girl that I am. So you've come to us to set the record straight. Tell us what happened. Well, honestly, the whole stage is all metal. And um, the stage actually got hit by lightning um, while we were performing, and which isn't safe at all. I feel safer you pausing to find your exit than having you down on the B stage getting wet. Right. And the dancers from the A stage to the B stage, there's a catwalk, and three of the dancers um, slipped on that and almost fell off the stage. If it, we get a break in the weather, we're going to try to just put her on at 8.15. But if it doesn't stop raining, I'm not doing anything. Backstage before the show, concerns were mounting about everyone's safety. The main stage, you'd have to do your different exit. You know, it's, it's everything we know for six months being changed quickly. But You've gotten some criticism in that other bands have continued on at this venue during a rainstorm. But this was not a rainstorm. This was a lightning storm. The stage actually got hit by lightning. And um, we had to, the whole stage is made out of metal. And there was no way, it wasn't safe for any of us to be out there, to be on the stage. I'm going to go. Play by ear, God will tell us what to do. Yeah. Exactly, just men welling, just go for it. Brittany did perform four songs on the sloshing wet stage before having to stop after 35 minutes. It's coming down in buckets, but the fans aren't leaving. After the concert was canceled, the Mexican fans were yelling fraud. What did you feel like? Oh, I think it's kind of sad, you know. I I did a show for them, you know, the night before, and I gave my all. And um, Actually, they told us not to even go on stage at the very beginning before I even went out there. And I was like, no, we're here. You know, there's 50,000 people out there. I have to go out there and make an effort. And I understand, actually, all the people who bought tickets are going to get a refund. Yes. The cancel concert wasn't the only problem Britney faced in Mexico. The day she landed, she was nearly run off the road by paparazzi. You were actually afraid. The driver kept on slamming on brakes like, we, you know, we slid across the road, turning really, really fast. Prompting her to make a gesture. That led to more fallout. Okay, let's talk about the raising of the middle finger incident. Oh, gosh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, I wasn't, um... Flipping off my fans at all. I love my fans. Do you regret having done it at all now? But I'm human, you know, and I mean, I'm not the type of person I want to go out and do anything crazy. I don't think, you know, flipping your finger is not the nicest thing in the world, but I think it was just me basically protecting myself. If you had to do it all over again, would you be holding your hand tight so it didn't happen, or would you be like, my, my, my mom's gotten on to me. I probably wouldn't do it again. <laughs> <laughs> what did your mom say to you? It was like, what were you thinking? Why did you do that? And I'm like, mom. And then, you know, it was just happened. So It was a moment. Yes, it was a moment. Now, Brittany also tells me that she plans on taking the next six months off to spend time with family, travel, eat hot dogs, and do just what Brittany wants to do. Remember, she is just 20 years old.